Thank you. Hi, I'm Jimmy. This is Billy. I was out last week because this guy had a, a heart surgery. But look, he's fine, everybody. <laughs> He may have pooped, but he's fine. <laughs> and I want to thank Chris Pratt and Tracy Ellis Ross and Neil Patrick Harris and Melissa McCarthy for filling in for us uh, last week. Each of them... <laughs> they each gave a full day of their very busy lives to give me time off, and I'm grateful to them for doing that. And, um... <laughs> Daddy cries on TV, but Billy doesn't. It's unbelievable. <laughs> and... And we also want to thank the, the very bright and talented doctors and nurses at Children's Hospital for who treated Billy, and not just Billy, many kids with uh, so much caring and compassion, children from every income level whose health is especially threatened right now because of something you probably never heard of. It's called CHIP. CHIP is the Children's Health Insurance Program. It covers around... Um, it covers around 9 million American kids whose parents make too much money to qualify for Medicaid, but don't have access to coverage, uh, affordable coverage to their jobs, which means it almost certainly covers children you know. About one in eight children are covered only by CHIP, and it's not controversial, it's not a partisan thing. In fact, the last time funding for CHIP was authorized was in 2015. It passed with a vote of 392 to 337 in the House, and 92 to eight in the Senate. Overwhelmingly, Democrats and Republicans supported it, until now, now CHIP has become a bargaining chip. It's on the back burner while they work out their new tax plans, which means parents of children with cancer and diabetes and heart problems are about to get letters saying their coverage could be cut off next month. Merry Christmas, right? So this happened because Congress, about 72 days ago, failed to approve funding for CHIP since the first time since it was created, two decades ago. This is literally a life and death program for American kids, it's always had bipartisan support, but this year they let the money for it expire while they work on getting tax cuts for their millionaire and billionaire don donors. And imagine getting that letter, literally not knowing how you'll be able to afford to save your child's life. This is not a hypothetical. About two million CHIP kids have serious chronic conditions. I don't know about you, I've had enough of this. I don't know what could be more disgusting than putting a tax cut that mostly goes to rich people ahead of the lives of children. Why hasn't CHIP been funded already? If these were potato chips they were taking away from us, we would be marching on Washington with pitchforks and spears right now. <laughs> so once again, I'm asking you, Billy's asking you to make two phone calls you shouldn't have to make. Jam the House and Senate phones tonight, tomorrow, as long as it takes, tell them to take a break from tax cuts for a minute and fully fund CHIP immediately. Call your representatives in the House and Senate at this number. You can get to both, leave messages for both of them. Don't let them keep pushing it off. They need to fund CHIP now. And I also want to remind everyone that Friday is the last day to enroll in the Affordable Health Care Plan, in spite of President Trump's efforts to sweep it under uh, his rug. Obamacare is not dead. It's very much alive. Millions of people qualify for reduced rate or even totally free plans. But you only have four days left to sign up. So if you do not have health insurance, go to healthcare.gov and get it. You have to do it by December 15th. And by the way, if you don't do it, you will pay a penalty of at least $695 next year if you don't have insurance. So do it. And right, Billy? Do it. And Billy's doing great, by the way. He has one more surgery. And this is amazing. He had an operation a week ago. They say he's probably uh, on track to win at least a bronze medal in the Olympics in 2036. So, by the way, oh, I'm gonna, Guillermo, you want to come take Billy from me? Yes, sir. Okay. <laughs> It's starting to get a little... And change him, too, while you're at it. And remember... What, no, don't get him under the arms. Just... Yeah, there you go. And remember, back to front, okay? Okay. All right, thank you. All right, there you go. <laughs> like two babies. <laughs> the two cutest Guillermos in the world right there.